Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Before we get into the video, I'd just like to say thank you for helping me reach 1.1k subscribers. I really appreciate it. It's really nuts. If you could subscribe to my channel, that would be great as it motivates me to upload more often. And yeah, let's get straight into the video. Now in this video, I'm going to show you guys how I make my weapons and the methods I use in Blender to create the weapons. This is um, my personal favorite way of doing things. You, you might have a different way of doing it. You know, it's up to you. This is how I make my weapons. Um, this isn't going to be a, like a really detailed so you guys can just follow along and essentially make what I'm making um, I'm going to make a more detailed video probably r later on in the future for you guys if you want it okay so the first step is a quick step we just need to, to find a reference image so pick something simple something like this or something like this uh, just for the sake if you're a beginner it would be much easier to create something like this than it is something like this because you're essentially going to be tracing over it but in a 3d way okay so the second step is putting your reference image inside of blender so it's easier to trace um, I recommend locking it on the x-axis so it's flat um, like so so then you can see it face on and then you can simply just drag your downloaded image in like so and it appears and I'd send, try and roughly center it because so, you're going to be tracing over it so uh, if it's centered you can go along the uh, axes uh, and makes life easier <clears throat> okay so the next step you want to do is you want to shrink the uh, the blade just a bit smaller just so it fits around the, um, the actual outline of the image I'm going to try and center it a little bit more so now as you can see my cube is centered and it's roughly the same uh, width as the image. So now all you do now is you press S to scale and then on the Y axis like this and then now you just press E to extrude and then click again and then S to scale and then Y to make it wider and then you just follow the outline okay so you just wanna just follow the outline really simple just press E to pull it out do it every now and then so then you can define the detail a little bit more and then boom so now if we go like this I'm going to shrink it in a little bit more. Now we're kind of starting to build the blade now. See how it's starting to form already and we've barely done anything. Now one thing I will mention is make sure you are facing in the x-axis and make sure you're also when you extrude you go into you hold Z and then go into wireframe mode and then select this top face here and then press E to extrude, S to scale, and then on the Y axis, and then keep doing that, follow the outline, and boom. And if you mess up here, so there's a gap, like a, a bit missing here, you can press Control R to add another loop cut, and then S to scale, and then Y, and then you pull it in. Simple as that. And that's the blade done already. Okay, so now that I'm done with the blade, for now anyways, I want to do the handle. So the handle is always a cylinder, for a sword anyways. I mean, you can go for a square, it really doesn't matter, it's up to you. Um, and I'm going to change the amount of faces to 8, just to keep it low poly. And then we do the same thing. Bring the scale down. And then we pull it up. And go for the outline so now this has um, some odd shapes on the end uh, you can just do these as a separate object so for the handle I'm just gonna follow this little cylinder shape because this little flower um, shape here is gonna be a different object and so is this here so in total you're gonna have roughly like four objects so on the blade one this part and then one the handle and then one this part and now for the um, 
for the handle. You're just going to do the exact same thing. I'm going to go into wireframe mode, S to scale, and then Y, and then E extrude, S to scale, Y. simple as that and just keep following the same method you can do this with anything you can do this with guns um, even vehicles whatever you want really as you can see I'm adding smaller loop cuts just to define the shape more it all depends on how much detail you want to put in it um, realistically you won't really see this tiny detail so it's not even that important so I'm just wasting time at this point but it's to give you guys an idea of what I tend to do when I make my models so as you can see that's the rough shape of the handle like so and now we're gonna make this part here to connect the blade with the handle okay now I want to work on this part and I don't want these in my way so you can select these and then press H to hide or you can click this little eyeball here and then it hides it and then you can just work on the next part which is the part that connects the handle with the blade I don't really know what it's called so I'm just going to call it that and yeah same method I'm just going to speed through this because it's the exact same method and it's just going to get boring at this point. So yeah. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention that you can also mirror objects by adding a modifier. So what I did was I added a loop cut down the middle of the cube, as you can see, by holding by pressing Control and R, and then it appears. And then you just click, click on it, and it adds a loop cut. And then you want to go into wireframe mode, delete this half or either half, it doesn't matter and then click on the uh, the half the cube so you just cut it in half now and then you click on the little blue wrench add modifier uh, mirror and then whatever axis it is for me it's Y and then now whatever you do on this end you'll do on the other end really useful tool Okay, so once I've done each individual part, as you can see, we already have the, the sword here and it's looking really nice. So, I don't really need the image anymore. I'm just gonna... I'll just leave it like that, but... Um, now you can adjust anything you want, so th now's the time where you can, you know, let your imagination go wild. Um, maybe you want to make the handle thinner or something. Like this part obviously doesn't work because the image is flat so you could work around it and perhaps do something else with it like so so now it kind of looks better so if I pull it out like that so it's more round Now this is just me messing around. You can you can literally do whatever you want with your uh, with your model. Um, it's entirely up to you. Um, but yeah, this is basically the the idea of how I make my weapons. You essentially just trace um, concepts. So if you're an artist or something, you can create your own concept and then trace it and create it in a 3D way basically, in a 3D model and you can just import it into um, studio 
Okay, so for the sake of this video, I'm going to import the uh, model into Studio. So it's importing right here, and then I can go into meshes, scroll down, select the five meshes that I imported, right click, insert with location. And now we have our sort here. So what you want to do is anchor it and group it. And then you have your whole sword. And it didn't even take me that long to make, and it still looks pretty good. And then you can color it to, you know, whatever you want to make it. Let's say, go for a blue color. And there you go. Quick and simple and really effective. Look how nice that sword is, and just like five or ten minutes um, of modeling really okay so I hope this video helped um, you guys out um, make sure to subscribe to my channel uh, like the video comment down below if you need help with anything I always reply to all the comments that you know ask questions related to the video um, and yeah thank you guys for watching I'll see you in the next one peace